Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Competitive Botany. In this video, you are going to see uh, important physiology multiple choice questions. So they are very much useful for uh, JL, DL, assistant professor notification, even AP set and a net too. Okay, uh, so let's see the questions. Uh, these are from the topic transport in plants. Let's see the questions one by one. So దీనికి ముందు ఒక టూ వీడియోస్ ఉన్నాయి అవి చూస్తే ఈ వీడియో మీకు ఇంకా బాగా అర్థమవుతుంది ఎందుకంటే దీని ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ పార్ట్ అంతా కూడాను ప్రీవియస్ టూ వీడియోస్లో ఉంది సో లెట్ సీ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ వన్ బై వన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద రోల్ ఆఫ్ యాక్వాపోరిన్స్ ఇన్ ఆస్మాసిస్ సో ఆప్షన్స్ ఆర్ గివెన్ ది ఆర్ ది ఆర్ ద ఛానల్స్ దట్ ఫెసిలిటేట్ ద మూమెంట్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ మాలిక్యూల్స్ ది యాక్టివ్లీ ట్రాన్స్పోర్ట్ సొల్యూట్స్ అక్రాస్ ద మెంబ్రెయిన్ they provide structural support to the cell membrane they regulate the ph of the cell so before answering uh, you have to know what are the aquaporins so actually the aquaporins are the integral membrane proteins so we know the plasma membrane so which is a double lipid layer lipid bilayer which is a lipid bilayer okay so in in that there are uh, channels they are integral channels or integral membrane proteins actually they facilitate the movement of water into the cell and outside of the cell so these are actually proteins they are integral membrane proteins uh, that facilitates the movement of water into and outside of the cell so they helps in transfer of water so uh, let's see the uh, answer correct answer that is they are the channels first one is the correct answer they are the channels that facilitate the movement of water molecules okay that is the answer let's see the next question when dry fruit grapes are put in water they swell this is due to op options are plasmolysis none of the above endosmosis exosmosis so here the answer is endosmosis so when the grapes dry fruits dry grapes are keep in water what happens then uh, pure water pure water is nothing but hypotonic solution less concentrated solution already explained in the previous video what are hypotonic what are isotonic what are uh, hypertonic solutions so uh, pure water nothing but hypotonic solution that means less concentrated solution then what will happens osmosis occurs so the water from the hypotonic solutions to the grapes will enter this is nothing but endosmosis okay so for you for uh, better understanding please go through the previous video too okay so let's see the next question when fresh grape fruits are put in strong salt solution they shrink this is due to options are deplasmolysis endosmosis exosmosis none of the above yes here the exactly uh, the answer is uh, opposite to above the question that is uh, exosmosis is the correct so when fresh grape fruits are put in strong salt solution in the ka strong uh, pure solution or less concentrate a pure water now we are putting in strong salt solution strong salt solution is nothing but hypertonic cell solution hypertonic means what high concentrated solution then what will happens now also osmosis occurs so Uh, from the grapes the water will come out of the grapes enter into the hypertonic solution then what will happens so they they get shrink okay so the answer is this is called 
exosmosis the losing of water is nothing but exosmosis so answer is exosmosis let's see the next question during plasmolysis water moves out of the cell first from so the options are tonoplast vacuole uh, cytoplasm none so the answer is cytoplasm okay so water first to last from the cytoplasm and then from the vacuole okay so let's see the next question when a cell is fully turgid its options are osmotic pressure is zero suction pressure is equal to turgor pressure diffusion pressure deficit is zero diffusion pressure deficit is equal to osmotic pressure so the correct answer is when the cell is fully turgid then diffusion pressure deficit is becomes zero so here uh, the explanation is when a uh, cell is become turgid its osmotic pressure is equal to the turgor pressure and dpd becomes zero so dpd uh, is equal to uh, uh, previously dpd is nothing but water potential so it cannot absorb when dpd is becomes zero cell will not absorb any more water okay so that that that's why there is no absorption by that cell because there also the dpd becomes zero okay that's why okay so let's see the next question what happens if a cell if a plant cell placed in deionized water options are pressure potential becomes more osmotic potential becomes more pressure potential becomes zero osmotic potential becomes zero so the correct answer is osmotic potential becomes zero so when a plant cell is placed in uh, deionized water so water becomes turgid because deionized water is nothing but less concentrated solution or hypotonic solution what happens endosmosis occurs so then cell becomes turgid okay so uh, deionized water is nothing but demineralized water that means they don't have dissolved solids or minerals in it so that is equal to pure water then what will happens so osmotic potential becomes zero is the correct answer okay let's see the next one uh, the entry of water into the cell by osmosis is known as options are cell division exosmosis endosmosis uh, none of the above so the correct answer is endosmosis so the spelling mistake undi chudandi endosmosis is the correct answer okay the entry of water into the cell by osmosis is nothing but endosmosis into means endo okay so let's see the next question the cell is said to be in turgid condition when options are entry of water none of these there is a loss of water soil is dry so the correct answer is it becomes turgid when water enter into the cell okay so that is called endosmosis okay so let's see the next question when a cell is fully turgid whose value will be zero options are wall pressure imbibition pressure turgor pressure osmotic pressure okay so the correct answer is osmotic pressure becomes zero okay so let's see the next question when a cell is kept in hypertonic sugar solution it undergoes so options are plasmolysis osmosis transpiration imbibition hypertonic is nothing but less concent hypertonic means uh, sorry uh, high concentrated sugar solution okay so then what will happens answer is osmosis occurs so then what happens the water from the cell will gets outside of the solution 
that means exosmosis occurs let's see the next question uh, a solution having the same solute concentration as that of cell sap is called as options are hypertonic solution saturated solution hypotonic solution isotonic solution so when i already told you in the previous video when two solutions are having same solute concentration they are referred to as isotonic to each other isotonic solutions so when the solution and cell sap are having same concentration solute concentration they are called as isotonic solutions okay so let's see the next question last question space between cell wall and plasma membrane in a plasmolyzed cell is occupied by options are pure water air cell sap plasmolyzing cell okay so i'm going to reveal the answer cell sap is the correct answer okay when the cell uh, get plasmolyzed the whatever uh, cell sap is present inside the cell that comes out so the the that is occupying the area present in between plasma membrane and the cell wall okay ilanti inka marini videos kosam na channel ni subscribe cheyandi share cheyandi uh, watch chestu undandi thank you